Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I was gonna let the game run through the night and kind of wait till dawn and turn it on, but this thing just popped in. Anomalous animal behavior. A group of typically peaceful animals are exhibiting hi highly hostile behavior. It is likely that the radio waves emitted from our orbital antennas are disturbing the local fauna which is not used to them. I'm certain that they want to destroy the antennas. This is probably not an isolated incident and more attacks will follow while the radio is working. Yeah, it's gonna get even tougher. Okay, so we've got four Gujos coming at us and we just lost some more uh, <laughs> sweet syrups. Okay, four Gujos who were not there before, so I think they just got spawned in. Yeah, it's not like we drove them nuts. Someone just teleported some Gujos on us. Now, I could wake them all up, but I'm pretty sure our own defenses are going to uh, take care of them just fine. But we'll see what happens here. Will they go through our defenses or will they start, you know, straight in and attack the fence and go after it? That's going to teach us something, but it looks like they're... Oh. We just almost triggered. Where are you? Ugh, right there. There we go. Now we're triggered again. Turn my volume up a little bit. It's going to get exciting. Okay. Missed because of dark. <clears throat> and now our traps. Boom. The traps catch them and hold them for a while, which is pretty good. And we're done. Okay, so we didn't even need to wake everybody up for this one. Now, this contains poultry meat, not bug meat or red meat. So I'd say these are going to be worth butchering. And actually, Kana is up right now. I had her come over and start tearing all this apart so we can move these guys into here. I think I can get the... Uh, this structure to build in here somewhere. Maybe this direction with the face out over here. We'll see. Get them in a little further. Maybe to just give them the run of the place. That's a possibility, though I'd have to close this. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with that. That might be a problem. But at the very least, we can, I don't know, pop a fence up against the house somewhere and kind of zigzag around and yeah, we'll see them just tap that fence and tap that fence over there you don't have to build a full compound for them but we'll let that happen um so Kana is already busy I've given everybody orders except for Umiar who was in pretty rough shape so I wanted to wait until Paul uh, Paulette got up and made some bread and he can have that for breakfast because his fullness is quite low He's going to be sleeping for quite a while, so I was curious to see how well that would time out. But, uh, don't know now. Paulette is still sleeping too. So I doubt she's going to get one made in time. So, Edmund and Carter are eating. Carter's got some... Actually, what does Carter have to do? I only set him to move this. So yeah, afterwards you can come out here and butcher uh, just butcher that one those two and that one okay we'll leave the, the scissor hands hatchlings alone don't need the bug meat <clears throat> what do we have in stock still there's still 900 of it Edmund I want him to finally get over here and give us some sticks so we're done with that drama chasing away a humming fly Simon is transporting some various things that are kind of hanging around. Uh, Kana was tearing this apart. She's moved. I figured she tends to be the one that jumps onto this equipment. And we've got enough positives that the idea of having to worry about a disturbed sleep probably isn't really an issue. So went ahead and decided to move some things into the bedrooms which means we can pick just the right bedroom somewhere I don't know if we have the right space maybe there and set up the 
VR set. Will it go there? It will. So Umiar is going to share his room with everybody wanting to uh, do some virtual reality. Carter's going to clear these guys out. So we're going to have attacks on a regular basis now because of these guys. Now I did switch them over. Oh, I've got to have that done still. But to, to circuit four because these guys when they activate they turn on circuit three for our guns and then they turn off circuit four this is a hundred and fifty watts right fifty fifty and one hundred two hundred watts that's right we gotta worry about creating some more power so there's no way we could run all of that and run our guns and expect to make it through a battle so we need to do some serious upgrading power wise what is it going to be um, I was asked in the comments actually a couple of times now why haven't we done the upgraded windmills or solar panels and the simple answer is it's never been given to us to up to uh, to research they're not here power so wind turbines solar panels rolling down the list here I don't know if it's a mission that we haven't gone to yet that would have provided it as a research or discovery or what I assume that when I built the low level one it would then open up research for the higher level one or at the very least when we found uh, carbon nanotubes either way that, uh, that didn't happen so we don't have the ability to do any kind of high-tech uh, energy uh, gathering. We're just going to have to uh, do massive quantities of low-level ones. So electricity, power. These guys cost two electronics and some scrap metal. Not bad. These guys cost one electronic and alloys. And we're out of alloys. We really are. Okay, so let's switch you guys over to alloys again. Get another round of, of you going. Um, bricks from ore. So you go to the top now. And Umiar, you are just about done. Paulette is just getting the ingredients for bread. So she's right. I had her do it in two different ovens. Are you cooking bread already? You're almost done. Ooh, okay, that timed out well. Perfect. So, Umiar, you are going to... You're close enough. Let's get you going. There you are. Not cook bread. Where's eat bread? Eat bread. All right, that's your favorite meal. So, get you that, which gives you fullness here. A big boost up here. Your relaxation's fine enough. Let's get some more alloy in stock. And get that going. And then, I guess while you're at it, go ahead and... I lose you, I lost you, and big bricks. So that is your task for the morning. Get all the furnaces up and going. Okay, so what else is seemingly important? Now you, do you guys also make feathers? No, just poultry meat, okay? So when you're done, you're going to haul in, just in case you decide to go build a fence or something. Now these do or do not have their bricks. They do not. So everything that is purple is ready to go. Edmund is Simon. So Edmund is still out here. Boy, he's fast. Okay. Yeah, that's why I wanted him to do this job. What you doing? <clears throat> you're idling. No, you are hauling. And in case you didn't figure that out, you're really, really hauling. So you bring in as much as you can, and then pop out here and get this guy going. Construct you, and then construct you. Okay, so that's going. Carter is hauling in all the poultry meat. Uh, Pankoff said, hey, I thought that was breakfast. Now, Rita, when you're done training Prince, let's have you... You need some food, and your favorite was meat pie. So, are you still training? You are. Meat pie? Right there. So, you grab a meat pie, and then let's spend the rest of your day out here harvesting all the rest of the grain grass. Perfect. 
And do I want to turn on another grain grass field? Um, I don't have one. Okay. So if you do get around to replanting, let's go ahead and add some more. Now that we know... I see grain... That is... Grain grass. I guess I was thinking of these. These come in big clumps. So I guess this is a smaller footprint. Okay. I was expecting a 2x2 two two to show up there. So let's take you out to something like that. And we obviously need more to, to get through a year. We've, we learned that mistake. Alright, so Kana is assembling these. We do or don't need another pulse rifle. Let's take this down a notch. So where is the other one? This says we have none in stock. I had Paul Paulette swap out to a new one. So where is the other one? Nobody else has grabbed one, right? No. And let's see weapons. Pulse rifle looks like that. Right there, and it is almost dead. Okay, in that case, yes, build one more pulse rifle. And I want Kana and Paulette to be with pulse rifles for the uh, for the end of the series. The more we can stun in here, the more the others can just keep shooting them. That's my thoughts there. All right, so are we done here yet? I think we are. Uh, Edmund, when you're done, tear this one down. Reserved by Carter is already doing it. Okay. Although you're right here, but you have all this other stuff already stacked up on you. And it would. Paulette is transporting. Why is Paulette transporting? <laughs> did, did I give an order to the wrong person or something? I don't know what to make of that. What's left in the ground out here? Not many. You got everything but 90 sticks. Okay. So, Simon, you need to eat. Where are you right now? Uh, transporting wood. Okay, so when you're done with that, Simon likes meat pies. And we have none. But his happiness is decent enough. Grab some dried meat. That'll do you. And then come on out and get the last of these sticks. Right there. Simon, all sticks. And then come out and get the last of these. All energy crystals. And what are you? Uh, this is buzz room. There we go, buzz rooms. Um, yeah, me as well. So when you're done with that, haul these in. And that is the last of the hauling from this area. Alright. Now, thump. Something got built. Edmund's oh, got them both built. And Carter has taken this down. Alright, let's pause and think for a while. How can we get these guys living somewhere else? So, copy you. It, it is possible. Okay. Um, though, pretty close to the house. So, let's flip you around. We can do that. So, we could go there. And let's just do that so we don't have to keep losing it. That does give them enough, well, where am I? Enough room to get in there. Yeah, they can walk around and get in there. And then there's no materials involved in a bed spot. So let's just do that and that. Okay, so we get that built. Now how do we fence this? Or do we? I, we have to fence it to an extent. We could give them... Hmm... Let's try... From there... Ah, we can't... Go through this officially. Okay. So I would have to eliminate this guy. Ah, uh, reduce... 
I guess like that. Alright, take you out. You copy from here to here. Alright, so that is part of their pasture. And then fence there. Copy from there to there? I don't like that. Let's do a gate. Door. Wooden door. Just like that. They can't walk around it, so I think that will officially work. Now what? Got the antenna over here. <clears throat> and we, they are against the outer fence, so it's possible they're going to be attacked through there, but I'm not sure. Um, that fence. Now if I... There we go. You. So if I were to... Also think about how we're going to be walking through. Can I use the pole? I guess I can do that and that. Then copy there all the way to there. And somewhere in here we need to put in a gate. Like so. And Boy, you don't like it there. Why do you... All uneven. Flip you around. No. <clears throat> so I guess we're up here. Whoa, weird sound. Okay, so that lets you guys in here. Seals you off. Up against there, in between there, and up to there. So that's your new pasture. All the way through there. Not much grass, unfortunately, but... Yeah, I like the trees and whatnot. So that puts you guys in there. Pulls you out of here. Uh, berry bushes I had put in there because they liked those. So let's... Extend? Yeah. Extend from there, I guess, to there. And one more time, I think. And why is this guy red now? He's only red when I'm in that mode. Uh, extend. See, he goes red. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything I've done. I know I can't get those in there. I don't think there's anything I've done, like like this tree, that's now got to go away because of this. But I don't think I've harmed that. Okay, so that's enough for now. And Carter and Edmund are both set to construct. I think highest priority. Edmund is reconstructing. That means he's moving something, right? I'm a little confused there. <clears throat> Refuel. You're not set to move or something, are you? No, you're just grabbing bricks. Okay. They call that reconstruct. I see. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Simon's transporting. Alright, roll call. What are we doing? Lumiar is handling all these furnaces. And he never got anything to eat. You're kidding me. What do I even bother giving him orders? Okay, can you eat bread? Come straight in here and eat bread. Yeah, you're crushingly unhappy. Didn't get a risk of meltdown, and you finally tell me, huh? Okay, well, you deal with that. And actually, I think that's probably good enough. Let's give you some entertainment, then we'll set you back to this. Okay, <clears throat> Kana, eating now, but also skipped her meal. Hmm. Otherwise, you will go back to what? Are we here now? She was making. Oh, she's most of the way through making a power cell. Then she'll get this one built. Then that's satisfied, and it's just back to power cells. Okay, that's what she'll be doing the rest of her next couple days. Edmund <clears throat> needs to eat. He's taking care of that. Otherwise, he will be working on... I could just tell him... You now, Carter's kind of already working in this area. Let's see what he does next. You going to work on this? Yeah. Okay. 
So instead, I guess he'll just find his own thing. Simon <clears throat> already had a few things to uh, pick up and gather. And ah, uh, he's transporting. He took a break from that order I gave him. Yeah, to bring building materials over. Now that's interesting. Interesting. So they can think for themselves a little bit. Rita's going to take care of those. And she already did all this. Perfect. So when you're done with that... Well, tell you what. When you're done with that, I guess it's better to go ahead and bring these in. All these in. Simon, when you're done with that, you've got enough left in you to bring in a load of these. All those in. Alright, Paulette... <clears throat> You are busy cooking. Carter is just working on things. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, they've got that all figured out. We got this going game days wise yesterday. And through the night, we got our first attack. Yeah. Six hours later, basically. So I'll be curious to see just how regular these attacks are going to be. Now, it's smaller numbers. There are just four of the, the Gujos. So maybe... I don't know. We'll see if they always spawn in. Or... Yeah, that's not going to go well. You're going to lose, but in the end, you're going to lose too. <laughs> Nobody wins in a battle like that. But will it just affect the ones that are already here? Do those Gujo spawn in naturally? Like some of these just, you know, middle of the night and suddenly the game repopulates? Or did it drop them in just like an aggressive animal attack? So I'd be curious to see if anything down here suddenly, you know, a bunch of humming flies. Where are the humming flies? Right there. Now, I was hoping to highlight all the humming flies, but it won't let me. If suddenly all the humming flies are down here, start to come at us. So, we'll see how that works. That's been built. Now we just need to give them fencing. Otherwise, I think the first thing they're going to do is walk through the gate and leave. We we'll have to go haul them back in. But when we do that, we can tear this out, open this up again. Not sure what we'll do down there. Something more to do with our defenses. Insufficient storage space for... Leather. Why are there three leather down here? I don't know. Leather would have been stored in here. So you need to be capable of handling leather. Right there. And raw fabric, sure. Okay, that one's taken care of. Oh, because all of this, these hides are about to turn into leather. That must be what's going on. Though it's strange that it triggered these three sitting down here, rotting away on the ground. Simon is bringing in a bunch more of the grain. Good. And it is 2200, so they're going to be heading to bed here before long. Rita dropped off her energy crystals. She's going to go training again, it says. Now I need you to go and grab some meat pie, or really some dried meat. You're, you're ready to, to eat and go to bed. <clears throat> Prince, where are you at? Right there. You're at training level 4. When you hit training level 5, we'll see what it takes to tell you to go over here and right-click you and see if that works. That's what I read. Somewhere. If it was on a forum or something, or it was actually written somewhere here in the game. It's been a while. <clears throat> Reconstructing. That means all the constructing is done. Okay. So you can be closed, and, oh, somebody got to those. Control circuit four, circuit four, and circuit four. Okay, that's done. Now, power-wise, 
We are running these like crazy. So power's got to be figured out. Um, that could be what happens. What happens over here? Yeah. Okay. So in that case, ooh, we'll just tear this out. I was gonna say to move them, we have to go through this gate, through all the traps, go through this gate, and back over here. So we'll tear this out. Tomorrow when we find that there is no impending aggressive animal attack dropping on us. So let's get through the night first. But who's up first? Actually, they're all going to bed. Okay, then nothing will happen till tomorrow anyway. Let's grab from you to you. And yeah, deconstruct. Where are you? Right there. So we'll tear those out as soon as... Nope, not you. <laughs> Apparently I clicked the wrong thing. Let's try that again. So from there to there. Fence, there we go. Deconstruct. And you. Alright, that makes more sense. So tear those out. And then have... Oh, I guess the first two people to get up. It could be anybody to lead them. I don't think it needs uh, farming or ranching experience. Okay. The other furnaces did get lit. Good. Umiar is back in bed. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's in bed. Good. Okay. Speed this up a little bit. Let's get these, these guys awake. Is there a faster speed? Boy. Now I'm hearing lots of thunder. I sped up the game, that's what happened. <laughs> it's my fault. Well, it could just be a rainstorm instead of a thunderstorm. Where are we weather-wise? We are almost to winter. So we got... Oh, we have some more of these that can be brought in. Good. So bring these in. Could have Edwin cut all this stuff just to get it cut. Doesn't seem to, uh, to run out health isn't decreasing or whatever it is that happens when they tend to rot in the field. Are there any more berries about? There are. If it doesn't lightning, thunder, is that snow? That is snow coming down. That's what the thunder was. It was a snowstorm coming in in the autumn. Nice. Nice that the game can do something random like that. So, in that case, Rita <clears throat> needs to eat, relax, and she needs to go harvest. Well, there's this too. But let's go do some long distance harvesting. Let's get some more berries in. Is that right? Now there are 1,200 berries in there, bush fruits. And where is the grain? There's 1,200 grain too. Insufficient storage space for meals again. We filled everything up one more time. Wow, we really have. Hmm. Well, I guess this guy gets some food added to him. Um, meals. All meals can go here. Okay. So, our first aid shelf will also have some meals in it. All right, so back to Rita. Stop. Well, I guess there's time to do both unless we get an attack. All right, go clear those out. Then come back in and grab... Um, grab a fruitcake. And then head up in here and clear out... You do it really fast. Just clear out more than we actually need. So fruit bushes, harvest those. So Rita, after that, harvest and harvest. And if there's still time, harvest some more. Yeah. Oh, six more. Okay. So you can do that. We'll haul those in even after winter hits. I assume they'll freeze, but they are outdoors, so that might cancel out the uh, you know, them not rotting because they're frozen. I don't know. Otherwise, you are probably eating these guys that... Yeah, and... No, you're not. You're just making us think that. But I was going to say, you know, go for it. But don't touch the... Uh, 
Don't touch the grain. Uh. <laughs> okay, who's doing what? Garter is... Building more fences. Okay, these are gone. I need somebody. Simon is relaxing in Kana's room. And when he's done, he needs to eat. He likes Simon. He likes bread, or, uh, uh, yeah, meat pie, that one. And then he needs to lead an orphan. I don't think it works yet. You are now the bed of that orphan, and you are the bed of that orphan. And this gets torn down. These get torn down. So now I think I can lead. So Simon, you're going to lead an orphan. And Kana is assembling a gun. Umayar is handling a furnace. Why don't you come and lead the other orphan? Perfect. Get that taken care of <clears throat> before the next battle hits. Carter is rebuilding fences over here. Little by little, we'll get the the whole fence line redone. Um, that gave us a good run. Actually, it only gave us 40 alloy. Why is that? Hmm. Well, we'll do another run of those. And then we'll set those back to brick. Snow is starting to uh, settle on the ground. It really is. Where did Rita go? Did she just do the one? No, I must have not shift clicked. Shift clicked? Shift clicked. <laughs> so you're going to do this first, and that's fine. Alright, you've got the order to tear this all down. Oh, this too. So you need to move. Reconstruct. Why can't I move you? Animal wouldn't. I can't move you. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> so, put you out here. Where are you over here? Whoa. You were inside. And it worked. Okay. So, we'll do that right here. Um, I can't even copy. Interesting. Ranching, animal feeder, and wood. And we'll put you right there. And I can't... I can set you. So you are going to be herbivore only. And you are going to be... keep empty. And yeah, nothing goes in there anymore. So Edmund just got the order to... none. What you doing? You're picking up wood. You're gonna go build something. Maybe it's that one. What else is there that's wood other than just delivering it to uh, uh, to the storage? It takes that much to make this? Or is that just one of your stops? It takes ten. Huh. More thunder. Which might be signaling the end of the storm. We'll see. New queued research, old equipment, reach physical 3. That's right, uh, Edmund reached construction 7 a while back. Saw that. You're building that. That's all you brought. Okay. Carter, you were working on these. You are down in this corner. Okay, that's going to be nice to get this all done. You are now transporting berries. Uh, that's a really weird order to get, but can you reconstruct these? And then, I guess, reconstruct the gates. Sure, get all that work done. Then go grab something to eat. In fact, let's specifically tell you to grab something to eat. Okay, Umiar is handling furnace. So these furnaces are done. Let's reset you guys to bricks. Now that that's done. And that did all of them, right? You are now bricks. Okay. Uh, Rita, 
is up here doing all this. She skipped her breakfast too. Boy, meals are a tough thing to get into their their queue unless they really are running down that fast. Carter's eating bread. Simon is eating. Paulette is transporting. I just asked. Was it Edmund? Bread. Carter. Umiar. Where are you at? I know Carter likes bread, but I don't think it was Carter that I asked. No, it was Simon that I asked to go and get a meat pie. Wasn't that right? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused now. I'm just questioning whether or not they did what I asked them to do. And lately, I think the answer is no. <laughs> so, Rita, if I asked you to eat some berries, would you walk over to a table? Uh, I can't tell you to eat them. Okay. So, you were stuck. But as long as you are still in decent shape, let's just keep you going. Alright, you are leading. You're not. Oh! No, 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 no. That's what you're doing. Cancel that. Okay. By herbivore, I meant... Hey! Hey! <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. Carter, you are going to haul these all back in. And thank you very much, but no, we're, we're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> so who's responsible for hauling a, an olfin over there? Who's available? Umiar is handling a fermentation barrel by doing what? by going over here to get the meat. Let's have you instead lead an olfin in. Yeah, just... Uh, let's Umiar lead. Why are you draft, undraft, and lead? You're not capable of it. Okay. Interesting. You cancel the relocation of this animal. Someone else must already leading an olfin. Okay, now you've got it. Boy, I took some uh, took some time to convince you. What are you doing out here? Okay, um, I just need this done. Kana, whatever you're doing, unless somebody else is closer, I don't see any names. So Kana, you get the job. Come over here and lead an olfin in. And you ignored me. Draft, undraft. And lead an orphan. And and lead an orphan. <laughs> oh, I'm going nuts here. Now you are. There's a long delay. It really is. Omiart, skip the order. Okay. Let's lead you to here. Let's kinda draft. Let's Okay, there we go. Lead you to here. Kana undraft and lead Olfen. And Umayar is still not doing it. So you lead Olfen. Okay, I'm going nuts here. Lead Olfen. Yeah. I think the animal part of this game is still a little uh a little uh wonky. Yeah, I'm 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 not convinced. Now you're gonna do it. You went that far to drop it on the ground. Yeah, I I don't know what to make of that. But so far they both seem like they're going to, but I think last time they got part way and just quit. Um, what are you doing? They're supposed to be capable of going through this. Unrestricted access, if kept open, people can pass through closed gates and lead animals through them. Why can't you just go there? I don't get it. 
Where are you leading this orphan? Okay, Kana, can you do this any better? What are you going to do? Omiyar, you're fired. Yeah, yeah no, you're... Yeah. I don't know. So, uh... Yeah, Rita is eating. Is she carrying any back? You are not. Of course you're not. Okay. So... <laughs> Edmund, what you doing? Are you uh, a little smarter? Okay, you are transporting a whole bunch of wood to right there. If I were to tell you to just drop it, let's one more time work on this. You are going to lead to here. Okay. Edmund, can you lead Ulfen. Well, you did it instantly, so that's a good sign. Does Umiar have something about indifferent about farming? No. Disease, common cold. Ah, Paulette got a cold because it's winter time. So she is doing nothing about it yet. Okay. So she is making bread and had to come out here to get something. Why is that? I don't know that answer. Hmm. Oh, she isn't. She was out there already for something else. And so she's starting the process right here. Okay. So that's about as far from the stove as these are. That's why I picked this room. It seems to work okay running out of uh, space in here and we could still be pretty much out of space we have this to bring in yet and then all those berries yeah we're still gonna be out of space though with winter coming we could store berries outside we could let's make you a berry storage for for a while uh, right there raw foods veg no fruits bush fruits Let's put bush fruits out here for the winter time. Same thing here. Okay. And that gives us a place to put... I've already lost them. Weren't they about here? Here. All the bushes that are emptied. Okay. So next time we got to get Simon to, to go and... Uh, bring a bunch of those in. Kind of surprised we didn't, didn't get an attack this time. I, th Well, maybe this is the second episode. It seems like these guys have been out here rotting for a really long time. <clears throat> Otherwise, what are we doing? Carter, bench pressing. Paulette is making foods. Good. Rita is going to go handle these before she goes to bed. Good. Can I ensure that by... Yeah, telling you to do it twice probably doesn't make a difference. She might get the order to go to sleep before she finishes it. And I'd like to see that done. And I'd like to see these brought in. So, haul. Edmund is doing cutting on his own. Good. Simon, you are hauling out of the furnaces. Good. Edmund, you are the cutting. Kana, hauled in at least one of them. We still have a missing Olfen somewhere. Okay, looking for Olfen. I see one. I see one. Okay, you lead to here. And then... <laughs> yeah. Um... Calling Olfen is like uh, it's like herding turtles, right? Um, Paulette Kana Umiar is playing an arcade game. You, I no, you failed last time, so I'm not gonna not gonna ask you to do it again. Simon, where are you at? 
You are kind of busy. Carter, what you doing? You're sitting in a chair. I bet you could pull this off. Can you lead an orphan? I must have hit... Yeah, I, must, I hit shift. Or, yeah. So let's have you do it right now. Lead an orphan. Of course, the orphan's going to... What? Transporting? Dude! Carter, lead an orphan. <laughs> I give up. It's broken. It's just broken. Spaceship detected. Oh, I've never experienced that one before. Kana, quickly, go find out what that means. Kana. Contact spaceship. Now, that's something we've got to figure out. Who is the least needed survivor that should be allowed to leave the planet first. Of course, there's also a possibility that it's going to give us some supplies. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Meanwhile, the orphan probably went to bed on its own because that's where the sleep mat is. Next episode, we'll continue battling that one. The passing by spaceship offers to send a rescue pod but it has space for only one passenger. Accept the offer. Yes. It's not a big surprise that no ship can take all of us at once, and we'll have to evacuate one by one. We'll have to make some tough choices who goes and who stays. I'll say it right now. I can defend better than the rest, but I volunteer to go last. So I volunteer to go last. In any case... Whoever remains in the end, we should make sure that they are not just left here to die before help arrives. The base has to hold. Okay. So, next episode, somebody's going home. And I could use some uh, input in the comments. Now, just, you know, all of their characteristics, if you've been watching this series, you know what Carter and Paulette and all of them are capable of. Um, which one of these do we want to send off first? Blocked Paulette. What does that mean? A survivor can't get to where they need to go. Try to clear the obstacles around them. Um, eating a nun. I don't know what that means. Is that another way of saying we're out of room? 15 of 15? Uh, 20 of 20? It might just say we're just flat out of room. There's 14 of 15. Can you take meals? Um, meals. There you are. Let's turn on all cooked meals. Maybe that'll go away. Anyway... Scavenge 30. We'll leave that up. Paulette's got a cold. Insufficient storage space for meals. That must be it. Okay, so that's taken care of. So, with that, let me know in the comments who you think should go first, as well as who you think should stay till last. That's equally important. And what order would you send them home in? And with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.